This horse will be going home this weekend. I wanted to get you a, a look at her so you could see where she ended up. I, I had her for 60 days and she was here for a couple of reasons. She kind of had become a handful for the owner and was giving the owner some just kind of general issues. And then the other issue that she was giving the owner is she didn't want to pick up one lead. Always wanted to pick up, I don't remember if it's the left or the right, then gave her trouble picking up the other lead. So what I did, I basically started her, uh, just like I start most of them, moving the shoulders, moving the body, getting control of the body. And what that did in the beginning is it started uh, my, basically our relationship, our leadership. She started doing what I asked her to do. And that also gave me the body control that I needed to work on that lead. So here I just got on her, I'm walking around a little bit. I have not had her in a leverage bit, but a handful of times I've had her in this, I think I started her in this bit in the middle of last week. So we're looking at uh, a little over a week, week and a couple days that she's been in this bit. And this was important for advancing her in her rounding her body. It gave me more control over her shoulder, her ribs. It helped to work towards the collection that we want to get. Doesn't mean that it can't be done in a snaffle, but it's a whole lot more efficient and it gets the body to do certain things that you just about impossible to get a snaffle bit to do. I know a lot of people keep a horse in a snaffle bit forever and I guess for certain things depending on what your goals are for your horse that's okay but when you want a horse to continue to advance to become all they can be you need to advance your training advance your your bit so let's uh move her out a little bit let's ask for the left lead let's see what we get kind of got her head up a little bit just loped her off this is kind of a cool morning got her head up a little bit like I said she's only been in a leverage bit for a week so she loop again she kind of she knows about it but she has a hard time holding the frame that that leverage bit is asking for she's also grown a little bit in the last couple of weeks she's a little bit butt high now has changed her coordination it's changed her balance also made it a little bit harder to ride her back to our left lead getting a little strung out right there a little bit of leg pick up her back notice just like I've talked about in all the, uh, with all the other horses, I'm not seesawing my hands. I'm not pulling her head down. It's lifting the back that gets the head where it needs to be. It's lifting the back that controls the shoulders. She's getting a little fast now because she was a little heavy on her front end. Just kind of set my hands. A little bit of leg, right leg there. Right leg, her head come down leg again a little bit of left rein to tilt her head a little bit of left leg there because her shoulder fell in you can see her head react every time I put leg on this is what we were wanting let's lope her down in a straight away down the middle of the arena as she advances further with her owner, she'll hold that frame longer. And let's go back in another circle. Don't want to let her shoulder fall. It almost did. Lifted my left hand. Helped to support the shoulder. Round her up. Getting a little strong again. The speed control going faster going slower all comes back to all comes back to her balance rounding her body staying in frame 
losing that, getting inverted. As her frame stays better, her speed consistency is going to get better. It's all a matter of balance, balance in front to back, engaging her back in, lifting her shoulders. Walk her just a minute. Then I'll lope off and ask for the right lead. I believe the right lead was the lead that we had been having trouble with. I'll ask her to lope off and see what we get. I'm going to make sure that I set her up for that right lead. I'm going to use my right leg and my right rein, make sure I push the shoulders over, get her bent, use my left leg back in the hip, engage the back end. And when I go to lope off, I want her to lope off then while I have her body set. A lot of horses, what will happen is you'll get their body set and when you smooch to lope, so I'm holding her in that right bend as we walk walking this way. And when you ask them to lope off, they don't lope right away. They'll take a little stutter step and then lope or it'll be a second or so afterwards. And the horse is using that time to change its body shape in order to get the lead that they want. So it's really important that when I ask her to lope, she lopes off when I ask. So I walk that circle with that counter bend. Still holding that counter bend. Got my left leg back in the hip. Now I'm gonna, nope, oh, gotta keep your hip over. I'm gonna kick on her pretty hard, see if we can get that lope first time. There we go. I drove her off into the lope, pushing with her back end. Made her push with her back end into the lope, and we picked up the correct lead. Now, I'll maintain this lead. She has a little bit harder time maintaining her balance in this lead. This lead feels awkward to her. We've been practicing it, but it still doesn't feel as normal to her as the other one. It's kind of like if you're a right-handed person and you've been practicing riding with your left hand, it takes a while for it to get comfortable, feel normal. We're at that stage here with her. I want to make sure that I maintain the bend, a little bit of right leg, lift the shoulder. If her shoulder falls to the right, she'll probably fall out of lead. If it does, I'll just fix it and do it again. Try to not let that happen. See, she's getting fast, losing her balance. Just gonna keep working it. Set my hands, let her learn her balance. A little bit of lag here and there, right leg there, right leg again, but a right rein. Really pulling on my right hand because she's trying to move her body around so that she can swap to the other lead. As she gets comfortable in this lead, she won't fight it as hard. Plus, she'll get more comfortable with this leverage bit. That's for a stop up here. Whoa. Not quite as nice as I'd like it to be, but I haven't really been working that because she doesn't have sliders on. Hard for her to do much better than that without sliders. So this is Kate. She's going home day after tomorrow. And uh, she might even be home by the time I get this video uploaded. I'll put a link up here to her other training videos. Until next time, thank you for watching.